The pigeonhole principle states that if we have n objects that are distributed across m different places, and if n is greater than m, then some of those places must receive at least two objects. Let's consider an example. Let's say we have five boxes and we have 20 balls to put in those boxes. So we start putting the balls in the boxes. For example, we put the first ball in the third box and the second ball in the first box. And it, let's try to make it such that we have a bo box, all boxes such that they don't have two balls. The third ball in the second box and then one in the fifth box. Currently none of them have uh, more than one ball in them. Now in the fourth box has a ball. Now we need to place the sixth ball in a box. So that means that at least one of the boxes must have more than one ball in it. And that's what the pigeonhole principle states. Of course, we may keep going and we may end up with this as, as one example scenario where there's one ball in box two, two in five, and uh, other balls in one, three, and four. So in this case, there were four boxes with uh, two or more balls in them. As an extension of that, let's say that instead of placing them as we choose, that we randomly place the balls in the boxes. So with a uniform random uh, selection of the ball of the boxes to, to place the balls in, then it would end up that on average that four balls would be placed in each box. On average, if we repeat this experiment of enough times, then the balls will be evenly distributed amongst those boxes.